Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we will speak about the Docker and how you can set up your own Docker Swarm. And the Docker Swarm is uh, the way the Docker working for clustering. So if you don't want uh, a single host and you in the future want more hosts to host Docker, then this will be very nice to be familiar with the Docker Swarm. You probably use, uh, uh, use the, the Kubernetes if uh, you search more and I have searching about the Kubernetes and then Docker Swamp and for me right now I think Docker Swamp is, is fine but uh, I think if you have big clustering and you are having a assist administrator then Kubernetes probably is better but I'm not 100% sure and that's from me personal and uh, optical so I don't have any uh, reference to what is better than than each other. But I think Kubernetes is coming before the Docker Swarm and uh, probably that's why people use uh, Kubernetes maybe. But let's come in, uh, back on the on the track and uh, the only one command I will use in this video it's uh, it's to starting up the Docker Swarm and before we want to do this I will use you here if you use the docker info button and scroll a little bit up here and around 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 here you can see we have the swamp is inactive that's meaning we cannot say docker oops to do uh, node ls because uh, sorry to do docker node ls it's, it's saying we don't uh, we don't have a Docker Swarm and we're not connecting for a clustering. So what we want to do now it's just to setting up a Docker Swarm and uh, it's happening to do this and then it's taking a little bit and then we are ready. This line here it's if you have more machines and you want these machines to connect as a worker you have a manager uh, and then you have a uh, a workers and a manager it's like if you know about clustering you have a master and you have a slaves the master can control the slaves the same here the manager can control the workers and normally you have one one manager but in some cases you you want more managers in the clustering and I will show that in one of the other videos how you can do this but first we uh, have this so if you use this uh, line and save it you can do that so that's uh, what we have today so let's check about what we have here so do docker info and then the docker swarm should be activated up here let's see what happening here the swarm activated and we have the node id and the manager true and we have a, a different uh, different information here about the the swarm and uh, if we go down here to sudo docker node ls, you can see we have uh, a, a docker node here, the status ID and the engine version we run on this uh, swamp node and it's ready and it's available and it's a leader. Leaders meaning you are the manager. And uh, that's it and thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy and if you know more, if you want to know more about the docker swamp, you can watch the next video where I will explain even more. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again and I hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can uh, scroll down and, and press the right corner on the thing and then you subscribe my channel. I hope if you have any questions you can make the comments below and I hope you want to like it and share it with your friends. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.